Two half dozen and six the other? <laughs> no, it's, it's a half a dozen and six the other. Carve that turkey, baby! Oh! How does this all work? Raj thought that this was all the receipts we had. <coughs> in trees, in trees. <laughs> <laughs> we can do another one. Okay. okay. We, we can do four more, and then she can pick her favorite. <laughs> We're Eamon and Beck, and two years ago, we bought a van and converted it into a tiny home on wheels. Since then, we've learned a lot about life on the road, and before heading to Europe this summer, we thought it was time to make some serious upgrades to our van. So last week we installed a toilet and today we're excited to upgrade our battery bank and install some new kick-ass DIY cabinetry. Moment of truth. Do we have a drawer? Stay positive, Amen. Stay <laughs> positive. Don't start freaking out yet. Excuse me, sir. It looks pretty alright, okay. Just stick that a little. <laughs> drawers! Picking you guys up right where we left off, trying to sort out drawers. Hey, baby. <laughs> this past weekend, we actually took a break from the van build and got to go up to my favorite place on earth, my aunt and uncle's cottage. We did, however, get some painting done. Big, exciting day here. We've made a huge decision. This whole side gonna go white. Hmm. Are you ready for the first stroke? This is huge! Our van is officially more white. And the next project we want to work on is... Becca really hates the way these cupboards look up here, you know? I don't mind them, I mean they're they're kind of, it's not much, it's not much going on there. Now that we have this beautiful fresh coat of paint on in the van, it really does feel like our van build 2.0. It's not that I don't like the cupboards, it's that I think we could do something to spice them up and make them just a little more funky and fresh. I think you've spent more time in here than I have in my whole life. Toys. Oh wow, yeah, look at all this scrap board. Can you split? This is my no. so stupid, you can't do that. So we need it to be really thin. As you all know, we're not the greatest planners when it comes to things like this, but what we do think is we need much smaller, thinner pieces of wood. So I think we're gonna close the door on the shed. Thanks Aunt Nancy and Uncle Peter for almost donating some wood to our project. He has not walked anywhere this whole weekend. He just goes up and down on this one wheel. That was productive. Coat one of our paint is done, and now I've got some creative ideas for our cabinet doors that I'm not sure we're ready to tackle, but we're gonna try to tackle anyways. I'm not as intimidated by cabinet drawers as drawers itself. <laughs> Don't boy, be oh discouraged. Boy. It can sometimes be tough to get the ball rolling when you need to get working, but you just need to come up with a plan in your head and then just start going piece by piece. Beck's obsessed with new cupboards. Okay, yes. Because we're doing this 2.0 van, I think it's only right that we have 2.0 cupboards. And um, definitely inspired by our buddies, Max and Lee. You should check out their van, their channel. All Max that loves stuff. his cupboards. Max loves his cupboards and for good reason. But what I'm thinking is we could do some whitewashed boards. So it's kind of like texture and barney, barn woody. And then we do something that's got like you know, you know. I feel like you're not as on board with it as I am, but I think it'll be cool. Depot? Do I want to go to the depot with you? Depot. I feel like I look cute at the home depot. Do I look cute here? Yeah, you do. Decision's been made. We found a thinner pine. So by 37 and a three quarters, we need a three, a two, and a one and a half. How does this all work? We just found these knotty pines, which are basically the same thing that we wanted. Oh, but they have that decorative edge. But they're 50% off. 
Is the decorative edge worth 50% off? I guess you have to keep watching to find out. <laughs> now we just need to paint, babe? Yeah. <sighs> go, go, go. Pouring out. It's porn. Porn. Pouring out there. All that rain ain't gonna stop me. Hey, so you made yourself back up. Yeah. It's not good to try to band build on an empty stomach, guys. Good point. So, stay fueled with weekday whip ups, cheesy popcorn. Mm. Shameless plug. That's really good. Isn't that good? While Eamon's out there cutting the wood, I am going to research how to best whitewash raw wood. White, best white. Whitewash wood. As I mentioned, I am not a natural at this kind of stuff, so research all the way. So I've got all the pieces. Oh, you're right, the trim's gonna make it look so much better. Yeah, the trim's gonna finish it off. Mm -hmm. That's gonna look really cool. Yeah, that'll look way better than what we had. <laughs> Welcome to the paint department, folks. Apparently, this is the wrong strategy, but I'm going to paint this before it's assembled. For some reason, that makes sense to me, but Eamon doesn't think it's very smart. Anyways, he's busy doing some other stuff, so I'm gonna get cracking. I've got the latest episode of The Bachelorette pulled up on demand TV on my computer. It's 5 p.m. There is nothing I would rather do on a Wednesday evening. Oh, sorry guys, you got a little hair in there. All right, let's get started. That's gonna go across. Can you see it? Can you visualize? These are beautiful cabinets, but as you've noticed, they go in the same direction, these little thingamajigs in the middle. This is supposed to go this way. And Eamon has nail gun that in with glue. You painted the wrong side, buddy. I'm biting my tongue, literally biting my tongue. It looks terrible. Oh. Kind of lost you last night there. Um. Not much to really report, but we did finish up a few of the cupboards. Oh, I'm tired. Talk to you in a minute. So what started with a bunch of sticks has now turned into a beautiful little cupboard door. And yes, we did stay up late last night. We fixed this one to match. It doesn't look so bad. Alexa, play 70s rock. The station, 70s rock, on Amazon Music. Beck just went grocery shopping. I'm gonna have some cereal. If anybody else loves cereal. Coconut yogurt with uh, Bob's Red Mill muesli. Lots of nuts and seeds and oats, no sugar, and strawberries. Yum. Good morning. Morning. So we're gonna put these fake little hinges on here. And what that means is we need to cut the actual hinge off. What are you doing? Put the grinder in the vise. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what the hinge looks like. Like four bucks at Home Depot. And then we'll just cut it off. And Becca's in charge of all this design stuff. So let's see how it looks. I like that idea. You gotta hold that though. Hold what? That button. Yeah, that's okay.
You guys remember that secret uh, slider drawer I was talking about? Here's what I'm thinking. I got some old tube from the solar shower. We just cut it in half here. You know, slide out Ting Ting to keep just some cutlery, forks and knives and stuff like that. I don't know, I feel like that. Do you hate that idea? I could separate it, you know, put a piece of wood in the middle, and then you have like uh, Why the tube? Because tongs. you just don't want to build a drawer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carve that turkey, baby! <laughs> hey, mamma mia! And? And it fits! Yeah, yeah, it's me, it's me! Okay, gracias! What'd you get? What is this? This? Is the joy of van builds. You always got something coming in, don't you? Oh, I didn't even tell you about this. Oh, God. It's gonna be an LED conversion from the old school, like, halogen bulbs or whatever they're called. And we've had some trouble with those. Like, we're always replacing them. Always like replacing them. So that's what the bulb looks like. And then you add this one, and it's like an LED. So, oh my gosh, she's got a fan. It's only $20. How do they make products for $20. Look at this thing. New project for the day. So we're doing the trim in the kitchen. One will go along here, one will go along the toe kick, one down here, one down here. Build that all out. Order. Paint that all. Oh, <laughs> Put it on and then do the faces. And the faces will stick out past the trim so everything when it's closed sits flush. Right. With this one, she wants to get a even more technical and do the corner to meet here. I'm gonna borrow Bob's pencil. This is 48, I know, so we're gonna make a mark right at 24. That's exactly what I was gonna do. And then you just draw the line. Just a minute. You're good though, right? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Inspection! Nice! Sure. Very cool! Except, no! Are you gonna sand this? This is the piece I hate! <laughs> Don't you remember that? Look at how trash this looks! Bob, you're the one that said that looks like it was on the... Yeah, no, I forgot about that. We have to sand yeah. We can do another one. Okay. okay. We can do four more, and then she can pick her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? I just made, well this morning at the grocery store I found some Ontario tomatoes and I love Ontario tomatoes. So it's literally the most simple sandwich in the world. Oh yeah, those are good. Toasted tomato juice. How'd it go? Um, I think I should go out. Oh, dude, that looks so good. I know, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do we need more? If we're gonna put those ones on there. So the rest of the afternoon has actually been a lot of sanding and painting. And what we've learned from last time is we've really skipped this step and there's no real shortcut. If you want quality cupboards that are gonna last a long time, apparently you need to paint, then sand, then paint, then sand, then paint. So basically, that's what we've been doing all afternoon. I also told myself I would never go white again in the van, but I think the reason I said that was because we did such a bad job the last time. Back to the paint department. Back to the sanding department.
So I quickly just want to explain to you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, we just built this little casing out of you know quarter inch ply and then fired some nails in along the edge here. So it's very delicate, but that's just gonna slide into place. And all that does is add some extra protection when we got skateboards and toys and stuff um, from hitting the water tank. The next task is probably one of the most important ones. I'm trying to figure out the garage and where all the toys live. Super embarrassed to admit, but I am exhausted from painting all day. Very excited. Look, I'll even get up for you guys. That's how excited I am. Oi. <laughs> About this project. I think it's coming together really nicely and I think the polyurethane was the right move. Is this too close to my face? Doesn't she look beautiful? And then the backs are all nicely painted white. Chef Eamon's whipping up a weekday whip up. We've got tofu, mushroom, tomato, a little chickpeas. Oh baby, I got some garlic naan. In oh the oven. baby, in the oven, the oven's not hey, on. Buddy, look at me. Oh, <laughs> uh, you've worked so hard these past two weeks. Ah, uh, I'm super excited. Today's kind of gonna wrap up, but we will check you guys again tomorrow because we're back working on the van. We got some friends coming by. Remember Eric? Eric's gonna help with, with electricity. But hold on, you said uh, you had non in the oven and the uh, oven's just, not on. Yeah, no, I know, I was just... The nun's not literally in the oven. But oh the nun my is gosh, be in the I just oven. wanted to make sure you didn't have it in the oven and not have it on. I'm okay, not lying, you guys. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you in the Good morning, everybody. It's another day to work on the van. Oh, here, look at this soft closing. Nice! So how do you explain that? <laughs> Two half dozen and six the other? <laughs> no, it's, it's a half a dozen. And six the other. And six the other. Like a half a dozen is six? Two and a half dozen would be 12. <laughs> Oh, though, that X does fit real snug. Isn't that beautiful? That's toy. You might have noticed the, the very sexy new Milwaukee nail gun. This is actually the third one I've owned. Uh, the first one did basically this. Not that. This. All the time, so I returned it. Thought it was a doozy, so I went out, got another one, did the same thing returned it then i saw that they make the fuel which is like their carpenter series stuff i was like all right i'll shell out i'll go all out i won't tell back but we need a nail gun that works milwaukee you make great products your nail guns suck maybe it's the operator you want to give it a go no <laughs> <laughs> moment of truth not real pulp Woo! nice Like to invite you to the admiration station, please. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> wow! Woo! Wow, you guys live in there full time? Yeah, baby. Please vote for me to win this battle. These stickers? Staying. Gotta go. Does everyone know that Aiden has stick and titties? No, they're all going. I'm sorry, my love. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Tio Aventura, <laughs> Levi Allen. <laughs> Who else we got on here? Who are these Exploring guys? alternatives. We can repurpose our it. Friends. Oh, our friends. They're all our friends. Yeah. Oh, wow. You gotta Bob, the, don't you dare vote against me. You You're gotta always voting. stickers for the van buddies. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everyone's got a sticker wall. <laughs> what are you putting in there? Secret drawer? I gotta finish it up first. Okay. So that's gonna have a face on. It's gonna look pretty. Yeah. Nice. And then it's gonna have an anti slip. It's gonna be like that. We gotta take a little break from the van build because our accountant just showed up and we got a lot of receipts to give him. Hey Raj, you excited for this? 
Yeah, <laughs> super exciting. Raj thought that this was all the receipts we had. Whoops. I did too. Oh man. <laughs> Increase in fees. <laughs> <laughs> The other day we found someone's driver's license in no there. Oh yeah. my god. And I'm like, does he not want this? Uh, we find foreign currency. Okay friends, it's that time in the vlog where I go and do some magical things and Eamon and his dad finish the van. Magical things. <laughs> we have a new idea and we want to try this with you guys. We don't really use Twitter all that much but we think it's a really powerful tool to share our videos. So we're going to tweet out this video link um, on our channel, Eamon and Beck. It will be the top line of the description box. If you guys retweet that tweet, you'll be entered into our draw to win a starter kit of chai. A starter kit of chai. And wow, that's our pot strainer and 150 grams of our handmade chai. Did you put any sauce on this? I didn't, but I thought you'd need some sauce. Yeah, I had hummus. Okay, I'm out of here. Please retweet our video. Let's share it around. And yeah, I hope you all had. By the way, we tweet now. So follow us on Twitter. Yeah, you can follow us on Twitter. And I hope you guys all had a lot of fun watching this video and the van come together. It's kind of crazy that the next video we're going to show them is a tour of everything complete. Yeah, man. Stay you guys tuned. ready for that? Woo! Tour coming soon. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I guess that leaves me. See you after lunch. Eric, hi. Welcome. I my hair. This is serious, serious construction goals here. It's got three what, cases. Is it really? I think I think it's sexy. So look, that's, Beck will probably edit this, this out. This one with just screws. We'll go here. I love this tool. Oh, butter! You gotta get sponsored. Burn it up. Come on, Milwaukee, get at me. Eric More is flexing Phillips. hard on us, showing oh, us all the tools square. we need to get. What's the star? Phillips. Oh, Phillips. Number one is this you one here. Like so it allows like it. you to go 45. Because it has a purpose. Oh, yeah. because Straight up. I'm going to test my new inflatable kayak in the pool this weekend. <laughs> my zip throw. <laughs> Eric. I know you're going to be watching this. I'm a little disappointed, buddy. He had the drawings. He's an organized guy. You saw his truck. Missing a part, a little oversight, a little oversight. Luckily, we got a, a speaker shop here. A lot of these parts are car audio parts. We're gonna see if he's gonna save our bacon today. Anything where we could bring two zero gauge in. We have to do it another day. I'm sorry. Thanks. What's up, bro? Thank Next you very time. much. Well, we're gonna see Eric in a couple days finish Bye. up the rig. I think we're gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, and if you wanna see how the rig ends up, then tune in next week. Van Tour is coming at you. Also, Beck, I think we might have room for a flip out table here. See you next week, guys.